uh, get ready to sing all of the hits like Rocket Man, a tiny dancer, and uh, Benny and the Jets. B -b -b Benny and the Jets. <laughs> the world's uh, number one Elton John tribute band is making a stop in Vacaville. Yes, and Sakura <laughs> is there live this morning with a preview. Hey, Sakura. <laughs> Yeah, good morning, guys. You're going to be wanting to drink your tea. Make sure you take care of those vocal cords because it is time to sing along. So I am in the presence of greatness, but that is Tom's Elton tribute. So, Tom, first off, welcome to America. Oh, thank you very much for having me. It's a so, pleasure to be here. You've got the look down, down to the outfit, and we've actually been able to watch some of your videos of you singing in this tribute show. Tell us a little bit about the show in general that folks are going to be able to enjoy in Vacaville. Uh, well, it's all of the classics, all of the Elton John classics that you can expect, and, you know, I'm still standing. hours in, I didn't go out looking for the music, it kind of found me, and I learned the piano during the lockdown to stay sober during the lockdown, came to America in 2022, started playing in bars, and one thing's led to another, um, and we're here, you know, in this beautiful uh, performing arts center uh, about to play tonight, and, you know, this is really a dream come true. And we're excited for the show, and you've actually met Sir Elton John. And tell, tell us a little bit about why, why he specifically stood out to you in order to do a tribute show. Well, it was the music that I knew because, like I said, you know, when I was a kid, it was the Beatles. Then at uni, age 18, suddenly got hooked on Elton John. So it just, I just kind of stumbled upon it. Then I'd been friends with his drummer, Nigel Olsen, for 10 years. So I'd been to see Elton play because visiting Nigel. 50 times probably so when I wanted to learn piano and learn how to sing when I got sober it had to be Elton uh, so that's why I chose it but on a personal note you know as someone who's sober Elton's very inspiring uh, with his own you know he's a teetotal man so his own sobriety um, and also his work ethic is unbelievable um, I know he's just retired but you know he was playing 100 shows a year for decades so it's really extraordinary well, and for those of us who don't get to watch him play in person, we have Tom. So, Tom, finally, last question. How have the shows been so far? I know there's a lot of people singing along with the classics. Is that something that brings joy to you as you're performing? Absolutely. And, uh, you know, I'm someone who's naturally quite shy, so I've grown into it. And now people say, oh, you're such a great performer and you're so different when you're on stage. Um, at the start, it was like, I only learned the piano recently. Like, can I even play these songs? And, and uh, you know, it's just got better and better. It's been like a fairy tale, and it's not something that I take for granted. I really appreciate it. Every single person who comes to see me and the band play, or me when I play on my own, um, it's just a dream come true. And you'll be able to check out the show tonight at 7 p.m. at Vacaville Performing Arts Theatre. So, hey, I figured we'll give you guys a sneak peek, so take it away, Tom. I think it's gonna be a long, long time Till touchdown bring me round again to find I'm not the man they think I am at home Oh, no, no, no I'm a rocket man A rocket man Burning up his views up here alone And I think it's gonna be a long, long time Wait, Till touchdown bring now he's doing Elton John. Yeah, look at him. It's impressive. Oh, Thank you. Thank you, Sakura. Appreciate it. <laughs>